hello guys welcome to my channel so some of you requested me to make more anatomy video and so today i am back with a uh, tibia bone the whole anatomy comparative analysis and everything of the tibia bone is shown in this video hopefully you will like it so keep watching to the till the end and uh, let me know if there's any query in the comment section and also this time we are attaching the link to a book in the description box so do download it and study and tell me how you love that book okay so now we will study about the tibia bone of ox previously we have studied about the femur bone in one of my video and now today we are studying about the tibia bone this is the proximal side of the tibia bone this is the distal side of the tibia bone distally it is attached to the tarsals proximally it is attached to the femur here you can see the tibial spine of tibia being attached to the femur bone this is the posterior side and this triangular part is the anterior side anterior part is triangular and the posterior part has some lines that are called popliteal lines so these are the two important features one the anterior side is triangular and the second the posterior side has popliteal lines okay so after separating the bone as you can see here the anterior side has the triangular part the triangular part demarcates the anterior side and these lines called the popliteal lines shows the posterior side in the proximal end this is the tibial crest or tibial spine there are two tuberosities the smaller one is the lateral tuberosity and the bigger one is the anterior tuberosity this in between is called sulcus musculosus this groove is called sulcus musculosus now talking about the comparative study here you can see the bone of horse in the bone of horse you can see the there is a grooved anterior tibial tuberosity which was not in the case of ox then the articular facets are oblique which is not very clear in this video but yeah the facets are oblique then in the case of dog this is a bone of ox but i'm talking about dog right now that the lateral malleolus is present and the tibial crest is much more prominent than in ox this is the bone of ox so in dog the tibial crest is much more prominent and in proximal end there is a facet for fibula there is a facet for fibula in uh, dog but in ox fibula is attached it's rudimentary in case of ox in pig tibial tuberosity is again grooved that we saw in case of horse also and the bone is comparatively massive so i'm again telling telling this is the bone of ox but the bone of pig is much more massive than this and in case of fowl the proximal row of tarsus that are attached in the distal end are fused with the tibia so that is also called tibio tarsal bone and uh, the tibial spine are absent the tibial spine are absent and the distal end is condyloid so it's not grooved in case of fowl it is condyloid and tibia is the longest bone of the body of fowl not femur hoping you have loved this video i'd like to request you to subscribe to my channel and please like this video